Hello everybody, welcome back to RimWorld and the town of Crossroads. It's been a couple of weeks since we played, but we're getting back into it. We're drinking some whiskey tonight. It's actually some scotch whiskey, but whiskey nonetheless. So cheers to that, and let's get going. I've obviously already been into it a bit, so that's going to need to refill shortly. But for now, let's get going on this. So, it's been a couple weeks. <laughs> I kind of remember where I am. Um, a few things that I did notice is, the big thing is, this workbench, or research bench, excuse me. <laughs> I should have upgraded this research bench a long, long time ago. Um, we're getting a really big research speed penalty because this is a basic workbench, which is not super hot. We are going to want an electronic research bench, which is... Which I thought was in production, but apparently not. Where are you, research bench? Are you in production? I just didn't see you. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yes, you are. Uh, do I not have a more advanced research bench? Oh, well, maybe that's why I haven't up upgraded it yet. When do we get electronic research benches? Machining? Machining. I could have sworn. Huh. Where is the electronic research bench? Am I going crazy? Ooh, neon cocktail sign. Fancy. Must be from the signs upgrade, or signs mod, excuse me. Huh. Do we not get it until we get micro microelectronics? Oh, high tech. Shoot. Well, that's why we haven't upgraded yet. I didn't realize we were that far away. Man, okay. Well, then it's not my fault, but we are going very slowly. Disappointing. Okay. Moving on from that. Let's unpause and let's figure out just what the heck it is we are doing here. Okay. Uh, so we have the two visitors who are working for us. We have this other visitor who is <laughs> infirm and is just hanging out in bed the whole time. Uh, we got lots of food, but not a lot of meals. I think we killed an elephant last episode, which is probably why we have so much meat. Yeah, delicious, delicious elephant meat. Oh yeah, and we have our brewery going, which is gonna need a floor. Should think about doing that. What are we storing here? Beer, wart. Okay, cool. And we have beer. It's gonna be stored in here eventually. So one thing I wanna do or one of the many things I want to do is I want to get this area finished off as like the hotel slash uh, gaming area, casino kind of thing. So I like to get a poker table in here. But before I do that, I want to get this research bench out of here, which is why I was hoping to have the electric research bench or the high tech, but I don't. But yes, I do want to get this out of here. So that's going to mean having a research building probably up in here somewhere um the other thing i want is like a warehouse to store goods that aren't going to be in shops like this so i'm thinking we're gonna mine out this mountain a bit this is our <laughs> super awesome sandy town square but i'm thinking we'll mine this mountain out a little bit and maybe do something like this for our warehouse yeah that's like gonna be a huge building you know what i'm fine with that that'll be a warehouse now our research building the electronic or the high-tech research benches i believe are two by five i want to say so, 
that being said, oh, there's a cactus right here. That's convenient. Okay. That being said, get chopped. Wait, you're fully grown, right? Uh, you know what? We're not going to chop you yet. Cancel. Sorry, easily distracted. So that being said, that's going to be our research bench with... So this will be the wall. It's mad dromedaries. Interesting. Uh, let's do this because I'll totally forget if I don't. So really quickly. Okay, two by five is one research bench. I would like to get two in here. The uh, microelectronics thing, I believe, is two by two. That'll go there. We'll have another research bench here. Right? Yep. Okay. Space for a door. And then hopefully this is going to be a building someone can lives in. Lives in. Someone can live in. Two, three, four, five. So we want... Hmm. Let's give this person a front porch as well. So we'll make their house a little bit longer. So we will build this right away so we can get this research bench out of there and then we will work on their house. The other thing we're gonna want for this is to mine this. Should I just mine this whole thing? It's kind of in the way of town expansion. I think we will. Um, will you show me the roofs here? Oops, that's not the roof button. Where's the roof button? There's the roof button. So this is what... So I believe these will roofs will come away when the mountain is carved out. Or we can have them removed. It's not overhead mountain, it's just uh, like a roof area. Overhead mountain, I believe, is dark green. So that's perfect. Uh, who's our miner? I believe Lissafro is our miner, right? Uh, mining. No, it's definitely not you. Yeah, you are a miner. What's your priorities here? Your priority miner, perfect. And warden. Uh, there's no one to warden right now, so whatever, leave that to you. Okay, so that's the plan. Get this warehouse up, get this up. Uh, the warehouse will probably be stone. Maybe make this out of wood just to keep with the theme. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. All right, off to a good start. So let's jump to this dromedary location here. There are three and they are asleep. So, uh, I was having my timer here. Sorry, please. Are they going to come straight for us? It seems so. Oh, okay, these are just uh, wild. Cool, well, looks like we have some meat and fur coming towards us. I believe everyone's asleep, but, oh right, Trigal got shanked. He's missing a leg, I think. Yeah, sorry, Trigal. <laughs> okay, Bubs is up. These dromedaries are coming. I think we need to get everybody up. Uh, get recruited, everyone. And come over here. Where are these dromedaries? Oh, they're coming. All right. You guys go there. Do you have weapons? You know what? You're living with us. You can come too. How do we want to do this? Let's keep our mailiers here. Bubs, I believe you have a fancy sword now, right? Yeah. You go there. And our shooters come here. Okay. Good. Jarman ears are coming. Yeah. Male and female. Well, we're gonna lots of meat. Put that in the plus category. How are we doing for kibble? Good, we should be able to make some more kibble too. Our animals are getting hungry. So let's see how this goes. Yes. Oh, wow, who was that? What a shot. Oh my gosh. Patience. Well done, patience. Okay, let's get one more of those, please. OK, 
Okay, patience, come over here. Okay, he's chasing patience. Oh, dread over here. Please, just go there. Thank you. Uh, dread, excuse me. Oh, he's gonna get hit. Okay, let's go, Meliors. Yes, yes, very good. Dread, you're okay? Excuse me. <laughs> Camel bite. You'll be fine. Alright, everyone. Well done. Uh, patience, you can be unrecruited. You guys are dead. Alright. Well, exciting start. As exciting as a camel attack can be, I guess. Or a dromedary attack, excuse me. So yeah. I want to get the research up here. So I think what we will do is we will maybe prioritize getting the research building up. So let's do that now. Mm -hmm. We'll have a door here, a door here. I say as I build a wall over that. And we will eventually have a door into this house. Not steel doors. Okay, cancel. So when we get someone who is like a dedicated research they can live here. Fortunately, that person does not exist yet. All right. We are going to need some more veg as well to get our fancy meals going. Or fine meals, I guess they're not fancy. <laughs> So, let's get some more veg queued up as well. These guys should be ready, right? Yeah. Uh, harvest? Yeah, let's harvest. We have some crops. See these? Anything here getting close? Lots of cotton. Ooh, more hops. Nice. So I think once we get the research bench moved out, actually that's not true. What I would like to do eventually is I wanna probably put AC in this room as well, or in this building, our, our grand hotel. Um, just because there's gonna be a lot of people in here, that's a good way to keep them comfortable when there's a heat stroke or something. It's a good spot for them to go, or a heat wave, excuse me. So I like to put AC in here. The only problem with that is these windows are not actually windows. I think they're just like openings in the wall. So it's about as rustic as you can get. Although I see this now, maybe that's not true. Hmm. So my understanding reading the mod is that these are not truly windows. These like won't insulate or keep temperature from flowing out. So if we if we cool this room, the cool air is just going to go out the window. That's the way I understand it. To fix that, we have glass works, which lets you get this window with a glass pane. See, this one controls air. I don't believe the other window controls air. These windows control air. So if we want to cool these buildings, or this building in particular, we're going to have to replace these with proper windows. A simple shutter that lets light and air in when open. But even closed, it doesn't provide good insulation. Yeah, okay, so they do provide a little bit of insulation, it's just not super great. So we're not going to worry about that yet. Especially because I think it's winter, or we're going into winter. Yeah, so we'll be fine for a little while. Hey, you found some compacted machinery. Nice job. So, yeah. As usual, lots of things to do. Not enough people to do it. Gotta get some more wood. Ooh, our... Uh, what is this called again? Ambrosia. Is ripe. Mm-hmm. 
So, some wood would be nice. What do we got here? I know I've been kind of micromanaging the wood collection, but... I'm kind of fine with these guys just figuring it out on their own. It's not going to be super efficient, but it'll be fine. Power still doing good, lots of full batteries. Freezer still frozen, this is still temperate, yeah. Alright. So the other thing I was also considering, thinking about town expansion and the like, is putting blueprints down for the other buildings we're going to want. Now, originally, I had planned on the farm not being here. Because it's kind of the center of town, but... I mean, it's kind of convenient. I was hoping to move it up in this area somewhere, eventually. Yeah, I was kind of thinking here. So why don't we plan that out, and then we can have a, maybe like a barn area over this. We're not wasting that, and then put our fields and stuff. I mean, the soil's kind of crap, but it'll have to do. Where's our fertility overlay here? Yeah, I mean, as long as we're in the green area, it'll be all right. So I think that's what we're going to do. So let's plan out our farm. So first off, what do we want in the farm? We're going to need a farmhouse. Five by five. Uh, whoops, okay. Five by five, yeah, farmhouse, okay. Is there anything that we're going to want in the farmhouse like, production-wise. I don't think so. <laughs> A drug lab? No. I think we're going to keep the farmhouse just as a farmhouse. The other thing we're going to want as part of the farm, other than fields, obviously, um, is going to be a barn, as I mentioned. Oh, right. I'm doing this wrong. Because this is this house. So the farmhouse is going to be here. Do we want an attached barn? To the farmhouse? Is that something we want? Maybe? Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. So the farmhouse can have a nice barn attached here. Oh, that's not going to work because this is a road. Although maybe we want this side road to end here. Maybe go up. Sure, let's do it. Let's keep the town kind of organic. The way it expands. So, let's have a nice big barn area. Uh, we can remove this. I mean, we're just playing this out right now. We're not building any of it because A, we don't have the wood, but B, we also don't have any farmers. Well, we do have a farmer who's also the cook and the brewer and a whole host of other things. And that's Bubs. Where are you, Bubs? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you cook, you plant, you build. <laughs> You're MVP, Bubs. MVP. Oh yeah, you're a butcher. Oh man, we need more colonists. Okay. So, what other buildings are we thinking about building here? Oh wow, you guys finished this. I didn't think we had enough wood for it. Okay, well let's get this research bench moved. Reinstall right here, please. And reinstall this. Here. Now this is going to need power because we're going to want a light as well. So let's do that. And I think cleanliness also impacts um, research efficiency. So we're probably going to want to put a floor in here pretty quickly as well. So put a 
light and we will get some power. Oh, I don't want to run this power. Right through the middle, that sounds good. Sure. So let me see. How do I see how uh, efficient this is? Oh, speed factor, here we go. So it's indoor. The room cleanliness is bringing it down a bit. 69%, nice. All right. So we're gonna definitely wanna floor this off. And I think we're gonna use slate blocks because we got lots of slate. I'd rather not use our wood on that. So let's do that. Floors, floors, floors. Uh, not flagstone though. Do some tile. And I think um, if you do some, if you use silver floor like sterile tiles, I believe that even increases research more. But we don't have enough silver for that, so we're not going to worry about it. Okay. Now, let's get some poker going. What kind of poker table do we want? Marble? <laughs> Let's get real fancy with a marble, marble poker table. Sure. We'll stick it here for now. Get some more chairs around it. Oh, a raid. All right, maybe we'll get some recruits. They're all, oh, we got one range guy. Just five of them though, wow, okay. Oh, I didn't read. Are they attacking immediately? Yes. Okay, pause. Alright, everyone. I know you were asleep, but... Oops. Let's get over here. Dread, get into cover here. Patience. We're going to see if we can't get some early shots off on these guys. Get over here. We're coming to finish off Treagle. Oh, they are preparing. Well, let's not let that happen. You know what, mailers? I want you up here just in case. How far can you shoot? Oh, okay, good. Good, good shot. Oh, there's a couple guys with bows. I thought I saw one. Hey, nicely done. If you could not completely annihilate these guys, well, that'd be good. You're beginning your assault now, eh? Okay. I appreciate Oh, he's injured. Okay, perfect. So, this could work out for us. How are you doing? You are going to die very soon. So, if we want to kidnap you and recruit you... You're a good miner and a good constructor. Mm. Abrasive's not great either. Okay, we'll see how it goes. If you die, you die. You're not the greatest. You're another body, which I guess is better than nothing, but let's see. Man, patience is on it today. Hey, nope, come back. I want to shoot you more. No. Okay. Why don't we rescue you guys? You can be unrecruited. Can you do medical stuff, bubs? Mm, not really. Patience, I think I want you to medical this guy. We will try to capture Coyote. He's not the greatest recruit, but beggars can't be choosers.
Why can't I stabilize you? Do I have to capture you first? Maybe I have to capture you first. Dread, keep uh, keep hunting down Alberts. What's his bio? Nah, eh, he's not much super immune. Oh yeah, Alberts is way better. Alberts, come back. I have a proposition for you. Patience, can you? Oh, you're you're doing that. What's your speed? Just out of curiosity. Ah, you know what? I'm not that curious. Get him, Dread. He's getting away. Okay, okay. Patience. Uh, can you... You cannot medical him. That's disappointing. We have prisoner beds, right? Oh, it's not a proper bed, even. Okay. We don't want this to be prisoner beds yet. I want him to go into the, uh, <laughs> at least the room with a floor. Ah, uh, patience, where are you? Coyote, how are you doing? Are you almost dead? Yeah. Patience, your medical is turned on, right? Doctor, yeah. How come you can't medical Coyote? I wonder if we have to uh, actually like get him into prison first. Hopefully he survives. Dread. Can you get this guy? Oh, take a shot, take a shot, take a shot. Good shot. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Again. Nice. One more, one more. Oh, you killed him. Okay, well, that's his fault. Alright. Well done, everyone. Uh, you can be unrecruited. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's allow. Okay. Good stuff. Oh, who left a pile of potatoes in the door? How many herbal meds do we have? Two. Okay, you are getting treated, but you're not using our good medicine. Excuse me. Gosh. All right. Ten to coyote. Don't use good meds. Bubs. I would like a bed in here, please. I know we got lots of wood for beds. So let's. Let's get it going. Um, we'll start with a bed for now. Okay. Dread. What are you doing? You're carrying the jade, I hope. You are. Well done, sir. Well done. We also have to get ready to have a bit of a barbecue. So I don't want those corpses up there. So let's make a barbecue zone. Uh, clear all. Where are you? You're going back to bed. I don't blame you. Bubs, what are you doing? Well, I appreciate your dedication to building or brewing beer. Actually, you know what? You have to, because we don't have enough wood. Right, 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 right. How you doing, Coyote? Oh, your little toe. What? What's the medical emergency? Coyote? Blood loss? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know what the best medical care possible. We'll get some medical care. Yeah, I know. Coyote. 
Okay, so we have a prisoner. So, what we can do, we could, if we wanted, release them, and that all will raise our relations with this hospi hospital. hostile tribe of Losha. And then maybe they won't be so hostile, but they don't have a multiplier, which means they're just always hostile, so there's no point in doing that. So I think what we'd rather do is try to recruit them, because we need colonists. And I mean, your bio's not horrible. You've got decent construction, decent melee. You can do some other things. Because these people aren't staying around permanently, so... I think that's what we want to do. So, social. Nope, prisoner, sorry. Doctor care but no medicine, and we want to recruit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to talk to this guy, tell him about how great Crossroads is. We have all these great statues and potatoes in doorways. That will lower his resistance. Once his resistance e reaches zero, they will join us. So, let's make sure we got patience on Warden, yeah? She's a nine, and I believe... Oh, you're actually even better. So, patience and Isidros will work on her. That's a her, right? Coyote? Yeah. Work on Coyote, get her to join us. And then we'll have a brand new Coyote. But that's going to have to wait until next episode, because we are out of time. So thank you so much for watching, and we will catch you next time.